When you wake up, this is what you gotta do You gotta crush the day before it crushes you Every day I'm here to motivate Lead the way in the AM I don't want you to hear these words I need you to feel what I'm saying, oh no. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you You gotta crush the day before it crushes you In the building, Jimmy Wilson Motivation's coming, I can feel it First thing that you need to do Is crush the day before it crushes you not every lesson or piece of wisdom is going to come to you through words. So one of the things that I've really tried to focus on in my life, and I'd imagine if you're anything like me, and I have to guess you are because you're still here listening to my podcast 700 and some episodes later, which shout out to everybody that's been here for a while. Uh, but if you've been here for a while, you know it's not always about the words, right? And I appreciate you hearing what I'm saying, but I also want to remind you how important it is to go out there and look and keep your eyes open. And this applies to so many areas of life, whether it's philosophy or opportunity or relationships, whatever that is that you're searching for in your life. If you just open your eyes and you look around a little bit, you're going to be able to take in a lot of wisdom. So here's where I want you to think about this. You ever watched nature for a little while? Just like sat back, maybe you've gone to a park and you sit in one of those little observatories with the big glass window and you're, you're just watching nature, trying to disconnect from the world of cell phones and social media. And you start seeing how things work together. The symbiotic relationship, I believe, is the scientific term for this. And you see how the, the tree is growing and it creates the, the fruit, whether that's the nuts or the, the pine cones, whatever. And eventually those fall from the tree and the squirrel finds those nuts and it carries them back and it buries them in the ground for later or you see it eating that, you know, right there. And then you see the birds are flying around and they've made a home in the tree. And you start to understand how all of these different pieces of the world come together. It's a very philosophical moment that you're experiencing there. But have you ever thought about how that wisdom can apply in your business? And, and looking at, you know, if I'm the tree in my business as the business owner, let's say, who lives among my branches? What relationship do they have to each other and how does that apply within my world? Do, you know, should there be a symbiotic relationship where the birds shake the branches and the branches drop the nuts for the squirrels and the squirrels use the nuts to go out and do what squirrels do? But how does that apply in your business, right? How do you know that the, the marketing team is out there shaking the trees and, and dropping the, the prospective nuts to the ground so that your little sales squirrels can go out there and grab those nuts and bring them home and store them in the trunk of the tree. It's crazy when you get a little woo-woo about this side of life and growth how what you see in nature, what you see occurring around you can be very applicable to the problems or the situations you're currently in. So I just want to share that with you. My wife and I and my son, we've been traveling a lot, going to state parks, and this is something that really hit me. But it's funny to look back a year ago when I originally said this and see how much that truly applies. Because if you just go watch in nature and see how things work together, you can look back and apply that in your business and find a lot of ways to bring that relationship together and make it stronger and create an ecosphere where everyone can survive. Go crush the day. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes. Make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded, success-driven individuals who want to crush it. Check the show notes and grab your Crush of the Day swag over at crushingtheday.com. And remember, crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you.